white to play and win. This is rather unusual. Um, I should say this is from a game uh, between Dingley Ren. Yes, we're still looking at some of his finishes. Dingley Ren against Lu Shanglei from a tournament in China in 2011. So white to play and win. As I said, a little bit unusual. If you want to solve the puzzle interactively, do check out chesspuzzle.net. You'll see the link down there somewhere. White to play and win. The move is knight d2. It's the only move to win, surprisingly, actually. Knight d2 is the winning move. And the game finished like this. Check. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. And knight f1. That's why the knight had to go back to d2 in order to cover the back rank. And the queen is caught here in this terrible skewer. And that's winning for white. So, yeah, if the queen moves, then this can just be taken and white is a piece up. And in the game, rook c1 was played. Now, how do you win this one? Well, you could just take here. But Ding played rook takes bishop. If king takes, then bishop takes queen check. And queen takes, queen c1, white is left a whole piece up. And that won't be too difficult to put away. Let's just go back to the starting position. So the only winning move is knight d2. Okay, let's just try some alternatives. Well, knight c3, I'm afraid, fails to rook e1 check. And mate. Knight g3. Well, that covers f1 for the moment, but then pawn takes knight. And if bishop takes queen, then again, that's going to be mate on the back rank. And if pawn takes, well, that gives the king an escape square, and that looks strong. However, black can simply put the rook in the way, and that's safe. Okay, so what about just creating a little safe square for the king? Just rook takes. And black is actually very safe in that position. Okay, what else? Rook takes bishop. No, not good enough. Queen takes is fine. And if rook takes pawn, rook takes. And again, black is doing well. So I repeat, the only winning move here is this Backwards knight move, knight d2.